Jenny Fisher alongside Marquette's newest women's head basketball coach, Megan Duffy. And coach, you talked about it in your presser, how excited and how attractive this position was. What really sealed the deal for you here at Marquette? I think when this job opened up, obviously a little bit unexpectedly, I wanted to get involved in this as quickly as I can. And knowing Bill from our time at Notre Dame together, um, we clicked really well and hit the ground running with uh, our values and our goals and where we see this program can continue to go. And uh, to me, it was a no-brainer um, after talking uh, to Dr. Lovell and, and Bill and his team about um, what has been done here, the commitment to women's athletics and women's sports and, and being, in, being in the Big East, especially, you know, as a little young pup, I was in the Big East and know what this level and, um, you know, what this league means. And, you know, to have that combination with an institution like Marquette, I don't think you can get any better than that. Like you mentioned, you played at Notre Dame while it was in the Big East, and then you were assistant at St. John's. How does it feel to be back in your Big East roots? I mean, it's it's just a comfort level. I mean, I can't. My first coaching job was out in New York City at St. John's, and I learned so much. And you know, some of the same coaches are still you know coaching their teams, and you know, just understanding the style of play and what it takes and how good it is. Um, I'm really looking forward to being a part of that again, and and now in a different role, which is neat, leading a program. And uh, when now we're talking about championships, look just like we did when I was a player. So you played under Muffet McGraw. She actually had just had that video clip that went out about strong women leaders and yeah. how do you think she's kind of instilled that as you and how have you carried it forward as a coach? Man, Coach McGraw is such an instrumental uh, mentor and person in my life and I can't tell you what she did for me as a student athlete and, and pushing me and, and, and loving me and, and just uh, helping me grow um, and understand that I can be anything I want to be and that's been my message as I moved on to, into the coaching ranks and as a head coach running my own program is instilling those same values she talked about on the national scene and, and she's such an advocate of uh, young women coaches and, and getting those people in prominent leadership roles. And I think we all have a pride to um, carry that torch that she's now blazing and, you know, towards the latter part of her career. And I'm thrilled to be part of her coaching tree and, and, and be one of those women who are great role models, work their, um, work as hard as they can, and, and obviously inspire um, our student athletes here at Marquette. You mentioned your last stint was at Miami of Ohio. And what kind of things do you try to instill into a culture when you're at the helm of a program? You know, I, I just think the biggest thing is the relationship part right off the bat is getting to know your team and, and building that trust. And it's amazing when kids believe in what you're doing and what you're talking about, uh, what they're able to accomplish. And I, I just look forward, um, similar to like we did at Miami, um, building this and growing together and um, pushing each other in all different ways uh, to stay at this level. And, um, and I think good things will come out of it. I know it's been a quick... Like, <laughs> Pretty quick turnaround. Very quick. So do you have a first order of business already in place or what are you looking to attack right away? I've enjoyed this day so much just being introduced and having my family here and, and just an incredible um, crowd and people that were here to support um, this position and this announcement and I'm going to try and enjoy it a little bit more and then obviously we're going to uh, spend some time trying to get the staff together and, and obviously recruiting is, is probably 1A and 1B but you know and eventually meeting everybody that was in this room and um, I, everybody talks about the people here the people here and, and everybody I've, I've run into the last couple days and specifically today have been incredible and I hope I, I just add one more piece to this puzzle. So last thing, is there anything that anyone should know about you that they may not know from the service, the surface? Uh, wow, that's a tough question. That's I like, know. you know, back on me, like specifics. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a big sports junkie in general, so the fact that I get to come here and be uh, able to support the Bucks, you know, turn into maybe a Pack fan. Um, I know how prominent just football and, and hoops is here. So I, I think I'm just a sports junkie. I'm actually a pretty big golfer, so have a little background in that. And then I think of anything else, I, I was flying in and we're, you know, scouting out some of the restaurants and uh, kind of a foodie, so like trying different places. And uh, when we're not working all the time, I, I do like to, to spend some time doing that. Awesome. Well, Coach, thank you so much. We're looking forward to having you. Thank you, Jenny. Appreciate it.